homes tonight in light of the severe winter storm that has banished the island, Bruce. You've been back for almost two years now. You can't expect me to believe that Gotham's most eligible bachelor is spending another Christmas alone. You just ran out of time. Knowing that tonight we put to rest one of Gotham's most heinous and relentless killers, Julian Gregory Day. Commissioner Loeb, any comment on the rumor that it wasn't actually the cops who captured Mr. Day? There is no such thing as a Batman. Captain Gordon! Captain Gordon! Commissioner Loeb! No further questions! No further questions! All units! All units! Code 10 at Blackgate Prison. Communication is down. Possible 211. Delta 64 on route. Dispatch 59. Confirm code 10. This is a breakout. Suspect identified as Black Mask. Repeat. Code 10 suspect is Black Mask. Commissioner Loeb is being held captive. Repeat. Commissioner Loeb is 701. Commissioner Loeb. Maybe one of his men knows where he's headed. What was I supposed to do? He threatened my family. He was going to... I don't have time to discuss this, but you and I both know that doesn't make what you did right. These are Black Mask's men. I'll make them tell me where I can find Black Mask. Black Mask did it! We please this book through. Where's Black Mask? How the hell should I know? I'm going to make you talk. How much pain you endure before that is in your hands. Screw you! I don't have time for this. Okay, okay. He said it to the execution chamber. <laughs> With Loeb. Smart move. Now you get to take a nap. <clears throat> Look like that's what got into this mess in the first place. They say crime doesn't pay. Someone ought to check the good police commissioner's pockets. Because they are lined with my money. And what have I got to show for? Huh? My own men in the slammer? No, I'm no more. Boom! No, tonight, we're making some changes. Some big changes.
You're gonna owe me for this, Julian. That. What's all this about, Sionis? Haven't I always come through for you? You may have, Julian, but uh, things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate, and you're not on it. What are you talking about? I'm not on it? After all I've done for you. Show's over, boys. Let's go. I'm too late. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. It's the best! We're never getting out of here! I told you to grab the memory card! You wanted it smashed, so I smashed it. It had better be, or the next thing that gets smashed will be your face! The memory card is damaged, but I should be able to recover most of the data back in the Batcave. thing is a Batman, huh? Are you back for the night, sir? Shall I warm up Christmas dinner? No. It's going to be a long night, Alfred. I just ran into a human-shaped crocodile who told me Black Mask has hired assassins to kill me. Assassins, sir? As in more than one? That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile man? His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers, the best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke, former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, you say? 
Garfield wins, aka Firefly. Burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize. Copperhead. Strange. His reports reference a male, not a female. Fourteen escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget not him. What the... Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot, Freeze. says here he's an expert sharpshooter. Yeah, I want us. Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Baczynski. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you'd just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. Get yourself to safety and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Hmm, Black 
mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? Penguin. Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> so, little boys, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, wait. I already know. on my comm systems. Is that on your side? No, sir. I'm seeing it as well. It's from the nearby GCR tower. It's the same signal jamming the Batwing's auto nerve systems. I've highlighted the tower on your map. I'll need to stop that signal before I can track down the Penguin. You know, if you had asked nicely, I'd have opened it for you. Congratulations are in order. Maybe you're not as stupid as I've been led to believe. Why are you doing this, Enigma? Direct. I like it. So, I'll tell you. Gotham sullied. It's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! <clears throat> I want to get rid of them, Batman, to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. But I'm not a thug like you. My approach is a bit more... refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> Your response is as predictable as it is banal. Goodbye. Now I can access the SIM card I took from that arms dealer and hack Penguin's communications. Are your party crackers bland? Do your breakfast pancakes need an extra bit of sweet flavor? Penguin's pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network, using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position.
find the next comm station. Then I'll be able to triangulate Penguin's position. Alright everyone, listen up. I know I ought to cancel our annual boiler deck fight after what happened tonight at Jezebel Plaza. But just there to you show are. you what a nice guy a final I am, offer. the fights are still on. I'll Penguin's been happy. hiding out on an old ship. No wonder he's been so hard to find. Wait for life. Wanna get cut, Batman? Looks like someone brought a bat to a knife fight. Welcome, welcome to this year's Boiler Deck Fights. You know I always get a laugh by you first round lot. <laughs> That's why I keep you boys around! Penguin is hosting some kind of fighting tournament. That's where I need to go. Oh, come on, ladies! Stop trying to keep your dresses clean and fight! All right, lads. The rest of you losers to be are gonna have to embarrass yourselves without me. God knows you can do it. I've got some business to take care of in the office. Now there's a naughty geezer. Proper naughty. And he deserves a right proper welcome, don't he, lads? Just save me a lot of trouble coming here, Batman. I'm gonna kill you. Then I'm gonna jumpstart your heart. And kill you again. Looking for Black Mask. Where is he? <laughs> I ain't here to talk. I'm here to kick your ass. This is your last chance. Who wants to show me where the penguin is? Or are you lousy mugs? Time to earn your supper. He's making us look stupid. Cobblepot. I ain't telling you, Jack. A little more pressure and I'll crush your larynx. What's it going to be? All right, all right. Uh, he's in this office. Only way in is through the theater. On the other side of the casino. But you'll never get past Tracy. Tracy is not a problem. Alfred, I had a run-in with one of the assassins. Lester Baczynski. The electrocutioner. Are you all right? Yes, but he managed to escape. His gloves put out a strong electromagnetic pulse. If you can isolate the signal, I'll be able to track him down. I'll get to work on that. Where are you off to now? I'm on my way to the final offer's casino. I'm going to make Penguin's assistant show me to her boss. The casino. Penguin's assistant must be nearby. I'll make her tell me where I can find Cobblepot's office. Your password? Eh, it must be Finney's. He's always the guy. Did I go bring it to him? You serious? We gotta move this cash before the bat gets here. Right, right. Hey, you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking you. <laughs> Aren't you a persistent pain in my bottle? Mr. Cobblepot ain't taking new visitors. See him, so you can be on your merry way. Sounds like Cobblepot's office is connected to the theater, and the entrance is controlled from that security room. Back in. Go 
Oh, now I'm really deep in it. Candy! She's earned herself a dry slap, she has. That better be lip gloss you're reaching for. Come on, let me out! This ain't funny! I knew you didn't have what it takes to fight me fair! Hello, son. You know you ain't welcome here. And you know what we do for twist bosses? Well, you're about to find out. What do you want? I didn't do nothing. Who's your boss? What does Penguin want with him? Alberto Falcone. But I got no idea what Penguin wants with him, I swear. I don't know what your game is, but old man Falcone will be in your debt if you take Cobblepot down. He's right through that door back there. No thanks. I don't need the Falcones in my debt. Now, where were we? Candy. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Try to convince his father to take early retirement. He disagreed and called you a, let's see, psychotic little bastard. No, 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 please! <laughs> <laughs> Now you best listen, Falcone. Cause this is the last time I'll ask. What are you gonna tell your father? That we're getting out of the weapons business. I promise. I'll make him do it. <laughs> I see your lips flapping, Bernie. But they ain't making the sound I want to hear. Uh oh. 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 You idiots better kill me, please. Don't hurt me. Nobody kills you. Are you away from a personal entertainment? Punch him in the face. Now hold on. Hold on a bloody minute. I've seen your act. I ain't done nothing you've not done. No. Black mask. Put a bounty on my head. Where is he? I don't keep tabs on him in Giza with a grudge. You're not a popular bloke in this town. You're running out of time. Wait. Wait. Lacey Towers. There was a murder. It was supposed to be his same house. But all black man did. He's got problems of his own, I'd say. Someone broke in there. <laughs> Every penny of that 50 million. Ready for more? Not such a pushover after all.
It's over, Slade. What are you? Nice seeing you, Batman. Feel free to let yourself out. I can't let Penguin get away. There's more I need to ask him. on a murder at Lazy Towers. Hmm, looks like the police are on the scene now, Sir Dole. And this is interesting. They're saying Black Mask is the victim. Black Mask dead. I'm on my way there now. The cops investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. Donuts down! Don't have to do this! I'll be at a disadvantage if I can't tap into the cops' communications. I should hack their mobile relay station. Rubio, what's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. Penguin murdered Black Mask and his lady friend. I mean, we found the bastards stuck in little fingerprints right by the bodies. Yeah, we got Penguin now. I'd like to see him squirm out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. He's about to do some time. The police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask. But why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend. Or one of them, at least. She was no angel. Long list of priors. But nothing to indicate she was the target here. Fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the Penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room. But these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? 
The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. Could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named... The Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago. And I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. find dirt and make our own. I'm listening. What if Captain Gordon allowed all the perps to hold themselves to go free? You mean we set loose? Little prison riot right here in GCPD makes him look like... Oh. So what does this disruptor of yours do? Little bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly, though, it does a whole lot of... Not you again! won't be walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs! They got it in evidence lockup! How about we take a little walk up to the roof? Okay, okay, you win! It, it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks, all right? Now you gotta let me go! How'd that work out for you last time? <clears throat> Get yourself to a shelter. You kidding? That's where they round us up. Hey, you don't get it. Anarchy gets it, but you... Hey, you don't get it, man. 
Shouldn't you be searching your quadrant? Eh, I'll leave that for the boys in SWAT. Why's that? Ain't you hurt? Brandon made a deal with Black Hand. They're trying to kill the bat and collect the bounty. Dispatch, we got... <laughs> should be able to bypass the security on the server room door. I need access to the National Criminal Database. It's right here. You must spend a lot of time here. Cool poem box. You're bypassing the network security. Hmm. But you'll need to physically bridge the intranet to the external telecom wires if you want to uplink remotely. This kind of knowledge could get a young girl into a lot of trouble. They run under the building. What does? The telecom wires. You can access them through the sewers. Wait. Why do you do what you do? Because I made a promise. Get out of here! <laughs> On my way out, but before I can access the server remotely, I need to hack into the telecom wires under the GCPD. You should be able to access them from the sewers which run below the building. I'll take the closest entrance on your map. Sir, they say the bat doesn't have a gun. Penguin's man said the disruptor can be used to jam their sir, weapons. Yes, sir. It's the bat! Call it in! Take what I can... you, but you need to stay out of my way. Uh, never. Listen, I'm on your side. My side? My side works within the law. My side doesn't leave suspects with broken bones and missing teeth. We've earned Gotham's respect. If that were true, I wouldn't leave. Gordon, clear the line of fire! Hold your fire! If he moves, take him down. You've got nowhere to run. Move, Gordon! I'm taking him down! Sir, I've highlighted a nearby manhole on your map. Those sewer tunnels lead directly under the GCPD. Good work, Alfred. Strange. These are Black Masks men. Not the kind of guys I'd expect to find running around in the sewers. Could be worse. At least
least you sent an expert martial artist to protect us down here. <laughs> protect us from what? The rats? No, the batch, you idiot. <laughs> Alfred, confirm we now have access to the National Criminal Database. Connection confirmed. You can now perform DNA analysis. I'm also sending over the police file for the Lacey Towers case. This photo is from the day of the murder. It's a perfect match. The DNA tells more of the story. But here's something the police overlooked. Roman Sionis owns the Gotham Merchants Bank. And he installed biometric security only he could access. Alfred, I have enough information to solve the Lacey Towers case. Here's what happened. By now, Gotham PD thinks Roman Sionis is dead. A casualty of a turf war. Murdered by the Penguin. But I know better. Someone spooked Sionis' girlfriend. So he sent her to his safe house. Which was anything but safe. Sionis showed up later ready for trouble, and found it. Or so it seemed. Roman's always been paranoid. It's probably why he's lasted this long. He'd sent in a decoy, giving himself the element of surprise. But it wasn't enough. There was a fight. Sionis lost. The killer didn't hesitate to shoot the decoy, but he wanted Roman alive to access the cash stored at the Gotham Merchants Bank. With Sionis under control, all that remained was to tie up loose ends. But it wasn't the fire that killed Sionis' girlfriend. What kind of monster forces a man to kill the ones he loves? The Joker. He's the shadow I've been chasing. And now I know where he's going next. Gotham Merchants Bank. Alfred, see if you can find any information on someone named the Joker. Searching now, sir. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything coming up. What do you know about him? Not much, but he's taken Black Mask hostage. Hostage? So, Sionis isn't dead? I don't think so. From what I can tell, he's worth more to the Joker alive. The Joker wants to use him to break into the Gotham Merchant's bank. I'm on my way there now. You were very cordially... 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 You were very cordially invited to a party. And it will be a grand affair. Grand affair. Grand affair. And it will be a grand affair hosted by the Hatter. We do hope that you can come. You can come. You can come. We, we do, do hope, hope that, that you, you can, can come, come to share in all the joy. joy. Greetings and salutations, Batman. I am Jervis Tetch, inventor, entrepreneur, and part-time haberdasher. You must be wondering why it is I sought you out. Well, I have an employment opportunity I'd like to discuss with you. Help me! Please! If you can hear this, he's going to... <laughs> oh, don't mind Alice, poor dear. Her mind is all a flutter, and who can blame her after all she's been through? But I'll have a writer's reign soon enough. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Bodies everywhere. The Joker may still be here, in the vault. I should use caution.
Think you can just waltz into my bank, huh? Roman, I'm here for the Joker. The Joker? <laughs> Never heard of him. How about you, dog? Know the Joker? The who? <laughs> And you, sir? Name Joker? Ring a bell? <laughs> you son of a bitch! You think you can steal from me? I got away with it! You're a dead man! Dead! Can't you just play along? Assassins. You've been running Sionis's operation. Well, technically it's my operation now. Isn't that right, boys? You got me. Now let her go. Oh, life would be so simple if you were all I wanted. No, no. You're just a teeny little distraction compared to what I've got up my sleeve. <laughs> Have a laugh on me! <laughs> you hear that? Sounds like eight tiny reindeer! <laughs> Figure out what it is and take it out. She was dead as he said to your body. There ain't no body. Well, since I know that's impossible, I'm going to let you reconcile my vision of reality with your. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Any signs? The Joker knows I survived the explosion. I need to hurry before he kills Sionis or anyone else. Hark thou hear the Batman theme. <laughs> Broken bones. Stop! Where's the Joker going? Guy's nuts, man. Killed about a quarter of black masked men when they wouldn't take orders from him. Unless you want to join them, talk. He said something about the steel mill. That's Sionis's mill. <laughs> it's Joker's mill now. Ain't no way you're getting in there. I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> Alfred, pull schematics on Sionis Industries' steel mill. Joker's taken Sionis there. He's going to kill him. Unless I get there first. This Joker is so dangerous. He's taken over Black Mask's operations and slaughtered the men who wouldn't turn. He's the one who hired the assassins. And it must be he who ordered the bombing of the GCPD. Oh, dear lord. Shouldn't you think about letting the police handle this one? Not a chance. He's mine. Sam? I've isolated the electromagnetic signal on Electrocutioner's gloves. You can track him with your scanner now. A bit late, Alfred. I'm about to get my hands on Black Mask. And maybe the Joker, too. Right. Well, it's ready to go, should you need it. Alfred, I'm uploading data from one of Black Mask's servers. I need codes to bypass the security door in the loading dock. Receiving it now, sir. Interesting. Cyanus had a pacemaker implanted. It says here he had prolonged QT syndrome. Anything that raises his heart rate could trigger cardiac arrest. Sionis was having the Joker followed. These photos show him obtaining chemicals used in making explosives. If I find Sionis, he'll know what the Joker's planning. Sir, I found the security codes you were looking for. You have access to the building now. Master Bruce. Looking through Sionis's files, I found reference to a chemical similar to the compound you need for your glue grenade. I'm going to try to synthesize it in our lab. If it works, I'll have a prototype for you as soon as the resin cures. Good. I'll need it. 
The more I learn about the Joker, the more I realize there's something very different about him. I'll need to find a way inside that room. That's here, people. Get ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want you dead. You understand me? Deader than dead. He gets past us, and any of you that survive will wish you were deader than dead, too. scanner to examine the body for clues. No signs of assault. Huh. His system is shut down. Acute toxicity. He's been poisoned. Let me out of here! They're holding Cyanus in here somewhere. What do you say, Joe? Should we let him out? Let me think. He did give us that raise he promised us. Oh, wait. No, he never did. That's right. How could I have forgotten? When I get out of here, I'm gonna kill both of you. Come on! Like my own hand. Oh! You're waiting for something? Sir. By my count, there are still nine more ribs I can break. Do you think that'll make me talk? After what he's put me through, the torture, turned my men on me, stole from me, murdered my woman, he's my kill, not yours! <laughs> I can control your pacemaker remotely. You want to see what 250 beats per minute feels like? You wouldn't. Copperhead. Tell him and I'll pay you whatever you want. Make him suffer and I'll pay you. An empty promise from a fallen king. I know about the Joker. Couple of freaks. You two deserve each other. What did you do to me? I killed you. And in a few more minutes, your body will realize it. <laughs> That's it. Use your strength. With every effort, you hasten your end. <laughs> Must scan the room for Copperhead's poison. Female perspiration. Copperhead came this way. All I need is one drop of poison. There. It's a powerful neurotoxin. Alfred, uploading analysis of a neurotoxin. I need you to synthesize an antidote. Your vitals are off the charts. What happened? Uh, never mind. Just get up to ground level so I can send in an airdrop. And after this, you're coming back here so I can have a look at you. <laughs> What would your father say if he could see you now, throwing away your family's hard-earned fortune on these frivolous nightly escapades? And for what? You're not this city's savior. You're a wane, and a spoiled, wasteful disappointment of a wane at that. Have you forgotten what your family name stands for? You disappoint me. You disappoint me. Please, 
is still in your veins and it will remain there as long as you live, which won't be very long. You think these ties will hold me? Maybe not. I'd like to see you out of place. I know where he is. The Joker. Tell me. He's called the meeting. All the assassins will be there. When you set me free, I'll tell you where. Thanks. I owe you one. Wait! I can tell you the location! You already did. Wait! Electrocutioner's gloves emit a powerful electromagnetic signal which I can follow with my scanner. He'll lead me right to the Joker. But I need to get out of the steel mill first. Master Bruce, has the Joker taken a room at the Gotham Royal? He's in here, and Swatter doing his dirty work, keeping Gordon and the media away from whatever's going on inside. Doesn't Brandon realize it's not Black Mask he's working with? I guess you'll find out when I bring in the Joker. I need to enter the security room and look for the Joker. Friends. Assassins, welcome to our first quarterly performance review. 
As you can see here, Batman deaths are coming in far below projections. <laughs> we are really gonna have to turn this around. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> Got that, Mr. Cushioner? Just who the hell are you? I'm the guy with the money. And the gun. <laughs> so, when I hire you to kill the Batman, you shall... Shut the hell up and kill the Batman! So do you have anything else to contribute? I didn't think so. <laughs> Fantastic! Anyone want a piece? All right, meetings adjourned. Get out there and kill the bat. Move it along, big boy. No, he's coming for you now. And when he gets here, I'm going to kill him. So you wait. <laughs> well, this should be interesting. Whee! <laughs> that lift should get me up to the ceiling so I can get out of here. Maybe Electrocutioner's shock gloves could restore power to this platform. Were you able to find the Joker, sir? Yes, he's in the penthouse. I see you profited from my advice. Yet again? Not yet. Getting to him won't be easy. The elevators are down, and the Joker's men are everywhere. Well, I have no doubt you'll figure a way up there. Well, you look what the bat dragged in. You know you are a little late for supper. Lucky for you, your dear friend, Bane, used to start the meal without you. <laughs> Ain't gonna help you. Please don't. Can't see a thing. Think I can. Ah! Fuck you out of this. Please. D don't hurt me. I won't. I'm here to help. Okay. Please. Please. They've got my friends. Holding them hostage in the overview bar. Where is that? The suspended bar between the towers. That's two hotel employees rescued for you and. I'm still way ahead of the employees killed, Connor. I know you did. I need to do these time around. But don't go helping yourself to a gift. They're not for you! Uh oh, Batman, hurry! Someone's about to get shot! <gasps> Like what I've done with the place? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's a bit much. What can I say? I can be a tad... Ooh, compulsive from time to time. <laughs> can I... Uh... Please, please don't! Come on, back to the bar! Why are you doing this? <laughs> Who are you? I'm here to help. There are more of them. They have my co-workers. They're... They're forcing them. Don't worry. I'll get to them before anything happens. Okay. Hurry! We 
are set to detonate December 31st. I should be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer. Oh no. You found my snow land bombs. <laughs> well, you just couldn't wait till New Year's, huh? Well, guess the fireworks are going off early. <laughs> before, but this... Sir, I strongly suggest you call in Captain Gordon. He could be a valuable ally for you. I don't need any allies. Drop in. And just in time. Oh, he's my parasol. <laughs> Remember, you gave your word. You have one minute. Do they even have manners where he comes from? <laughs> you see. It's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. How about... this one? <laughs> and a party in a pantry! How many lives did you just take? None! I think? That was just a little stocking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> but this one isn't. <laughs> I've long waited for this moment. With your death, I will find peace. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I present to you... Last, 
and watch you kill yourself. I'm calling Captain Gordon. No, not now. <laughs> Deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. Freeze. Don't move, freak. I think he's talking to you. Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. Sorry, you know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're going to do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And 
What do you mean by that? You all people should know. <laughs> There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy biting little thunderbolts and wanted party crashes screaming to your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> And then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> Your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own memories. Okay, I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. <laughs> okay, one more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil. Predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. But tonight, it's all changed. What's changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one? Moment. Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. No one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Drift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask? Who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Harley? Oh, uh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now.
Why? Why would you do that? Newsflash! I'm the one who's trying to kill you! There's no need for this. might be a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. Dispatch, this is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. What's the story back at the precinct? Place is evac. Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your work, then. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do. So I take it you won't be testing it, then? It's called field testing, Alfred. <clears throat> Master Bruce, stop! Master Bruce, Bruce, well, you... I will not in good conscience allow you to go! You're outmatched by these assassins! I'm... What? You're not some hardened vigilante! You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head and I... I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. Be. No, not what? may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Tonight will not be my end, but it will be theirs. Enigma, where are you? I'm right here. Well, figuratively speaking, anyway. Disappointed I didn't choose to meet up in person. What's this about? Sionis hire you to throw me off his trail? Think of me as an information broker. I've got data handlers everywhere, feeding me all kinds of interesting stuff. And you think this is going to destroy Gotham? Oh, yes. See, bullet wounds and broken bones will eventually heal. But incriminating photos, videos, emails, that kind of damage can never be repaired. Tomorrow morning, when I release everything I've got, the city's going to collapse. Resignations, arrests, deaths, it'll be chaos in the streets, Batman, and there's not a thing you can do to stop me. I figured you'd try and get all caveman on my equipment. 
It's password protected, I'm afraid, with 10,000 volts of electricity. You might as well head home and get some rest. With everyone's deepest, darkest secrets about to go on public display, I've got a feeling tomorrow's going to be a very busy day for you. One way or another, I'm shutting you down. Destroying all the network relays will let me access his server. It's the only way to stop him. Those must be the handlers he was talking about. I can use them to track down the extortion data he's been collecting. Man, I was this close to clocking you. And now you'll get nothing but some broken teeth if you don't tell me where you hid the extortion data. I'll tell you where it's at, but it won't do you much good. I'll be back on my feet in an hour, coming for you. No, you won't. <clears throat> it's not Bane, but one of his men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. I should hurry to Bane's location before I lose the signal again. safe at Wayne Manor. Got it. I'll call the police. No, I can't risk them discovering my identity as well. Just secure yourself in the Batcave. What are you going to do? I'm on my way to you. I'll figure something out. I need to get back to the Batcave, and quickly. Repeat. Suspect is airborne in a jet pack, armed with a flamethrower. Multiple hostages on the Pioneer Bridge. Firefly. He must not know Joker's behind bars, and he's putting those people in danger to get to me. Delta 65 is dispatch. Who's the OIC at Pioneer? Captain James Gordon is the officer in charge. A lot of lives could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, I can learn more. If the cops try anything stupid, kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And, uh, how long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bat shows. We'll wait all night if we have to. There's 50 million dollars riding on this. Alfred, Firefly has hostages on the Pioneer's Bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Oh, can't you just let the police handle Mr. Linz? Especially in light of what we've just learned. I can't abandon those hostages. They're in jeopardy because of me. Because of the bounty Joker placed on my head. They'll be safe in the Batcave. I need to draw Firefly away from the bridge so I can approach safely.
Don't send in your men. Firefly has the bridge rigged with explosives. Show yourself! You have a go. No! Call them back. If Firefly blows the bridge, there's no telling how many will die. You're the reason those people are in danger. He's doing this for the bounty on your head! Give yourself up! I'm going to bring in Firefly myself. Don't send anyone else in until I tell you it's safe. You'll stay the hell out of this! You hear me? One of these guards tell me how many bombs Firefly has and where they are. So, what are you gonna do with your shit? Me? I'm gonna buy a moat. Look at this guy. Okay! Okay! I surrender! How many bombs are on this bridge? Four! Four! One here, one directly above us. In the bridge sub-level. And one more at each end of the bridge. Those are the big ones. That's all of them. I promise. Then I promise you a good night's sleep. Oh! Four bombs on the bridge, with the largest bombs at each end. I'll need to disarm this bomb before going after the others. One bomb down, now to find the other three. Five two, command. A target hit a gas main with his flamethrower. Fire in the north end. Damn it. I'm remotely engaging the fire door in that section to protect the hostages. Stand there? Untie me! You've been after the bounty on my head all night. It was never Sionis. The Joker put up the bounty, and now he's behind bars. I heard, but I still got a score to settle with you. I'm giving you the rest of the night off. Bomb secure, uh, Mr. Uh, Firefly, sir. Firefly's locked his hostages in a train car with explosives. Dump it up. See if I can get the bat to show up already. Uh, yeah. Good thing. Bravo 2, this is command. Report. Source of explosion was an oil truck on the bridge surface. Massive damage. No casualties. Copy. Keep me informed. I'm not sure. He's sure beat the hell out of those. I've heard about him. He's a criminal wanted by the cops. Stay quiet. Maybe he'll leave. Don't be stupid. Why would he do what he just did if he wasn't here to help? If you're so sure about him, why are you whispering? You have to shut up. There's a control room. That's how they raise the train up here. Lower it so we can get out. That must be the fire door, Gordon, engaged. Gordon, open the fire door in the train depot so I can disarm Firefly's bomb at the north end of the bridge. Get off this frequency! Now! Listen, I'm on my way to disarm the bomb at the south end. Have this door open by the time I get back. You let me do my job, and stay the hell out of my way! Damn it. Alfred, there's a fire door blocking my progress. I need codes to get past it. The police should have access to those codes. Perhaps Captain Gordon... Gordon won't cooperate. I'm heading to get the other bomb. Get those codes to me by the time I'm done. Right. I'll do my best.
Wait a minute, there's someone moving around down there. Possible Batman spot, tracking Darkin. Negative, stay to your assigned patrol. If Firefly spots your target, he can set off his bombs. Roger that. In the street, he's the penguins pushing him out of the country. Penguin, huh? I always thought that guy was a chump. Who's the penguin? He doesn't exactly my point. No one's even heard of this. There he is! But I didn't do nothing!
He did it. You mean the bat? Don't give him too much credit. Something tells me that if you hadn't given the bomb squad the breach order, this bridge would be at the bottom of the river. Get him out of here. Eh. You didn't listen. Not big on taking orders from wanted men. I'm not big on taking orders from cops. I should have gotten to that last bomb. Yeah. And I should have given you access to that security door. But between the two of us, we covered it pretty well. damage the computer. I need to restore detective vision. There, that should do it. Alfred! Alfred! Alfred, can you hear me? I'm going to get you out of there. Alfred! Alfred! Alfred, you can't. Don't add me to the weight you carry. Come on, damn it! All units, all units, code 10. Repeat, code 10 confirmed the black gate prison. Suspect identified as the Joker. You're going to be alright. I know I haven't always been supportive of what you do, but I understand now. Go. They need you out there. I can't defend Gotham. I can't even defend my own home. Master Bruce. Now is not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own, but it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. And a man's 
Strength comes not from just brawn and intelligence, but also from his allies. The one alert. The Joker has escaped from his cell and is leading the riots at Blackgate. Repeat, the Joker has taken over the entire prison. Multiple casualties, multiple hostages. Again, we have lost Blackgate. Captain Gordon is calling on anyone, anyone for assistance. They need you. No. They need us. Thanks. Thanks for... I could use your help. Captain Gordon's on his way. Secure the gates for him, then help him lock this place down. The Joker cannot be allowed out of here. Yes, sir. We're on it. Prison Officer 47 to Captain James Gordon. What is your ETA at Blackgate? About five minutes. You getting those gates open? Be ready by the time you're here. Sir, I've been listening to the reports coming out of Blackgate. Everything okay? I should be asking you that. How are you feeling? Well, it's not every day that one's heart must be crudely resuscitated by defibrillation, but I must say I feel remarkably well, considering. Good to hear. Any arrhythmia, let me know immediately. Yeah, of course. But honestly, Bruce, I do think you have bigger things to worry about right now. Occupational hazard. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon, and he's waiting for you. Apparently, the Joker's afraid of me. Wouldn't let me out. And for good reason. I don't like having my time wasted. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not unless someone else puts up 50 million bucks. I wasn't worried.
<laughs> Let him go. I... I understand you. You had a chance to let me die, and you didn't take it. <laughs> I bet right now you're wishing you had. I've killed... a lot of people. <laughs> I've brought the city to its knees, crippled the police force, and it's not even time to unwrap our presents! <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, okay. So, what our friend Vane holds in his hand is a heart monitor. Once he clamps it on, every beat of his bacon little heart will charge the battery on this electric chair. And when it's fully charged... <laughs> so either you kill Bane... <laughs> no, I won't kill him. But you will. You will fight me with all your resolve, or you will die. Someone is going to die. You, me, or the clown. The question of which one of us it is, is in your hands. A compassionate man would be home. Mourning the loss of his servant and lifelong companion right now. Yet here you are. You cannot run! The man in extremes! Prepare yourself! When that chair goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. <laughs> Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. Have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. I got a pulse. I'm going to jumpstart your heart. Kill you again. <laughs> May you find the peace in death that you did not find in life. I'm not looking for peace. Use my shock gloves to temporarily stop Bane's heart. My only hope. Game is over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah, put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? Uh, Gordon! Uh, well, that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and celebrate your victory, but I've got stockings to stuff, mistletoe to hang, and about 15 skyscrapers to blow up before sunrise. Ciao! <laughs> Thank God you had your vest on. He's got my gun! Gordon, Joseph, I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean, you didn't? That's not how I do things. Now go. Come on.
leave me no choice, <laughs> Mr. Wayne. <laughs> Thank you for the help with Bane. I trust he's down for good this time. He's secure, and it appears the TN1 Bane took damaged his memory permanently. Ah, does that mean he won't be revealing your identity? Looks that way. Glad to hear it, sir. And the Joker? He's still on the loose, but not for long. <laughs> Where's Gordon? Sniper! Put your locals back for more. I've had enough of you for one night. Not yet, you haven't. Son of a bitch! Screw this! Want the Joker? Take him. Help me keep these guys off the warden. Look! Quite well. Had a rough childhood. Joseph. They're on their way. You're going to make it. Where's the Joker? He went through that door. Towards the chapel. Thanks. <laughs> oh, 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 that's... <laughs> he's, just, 
It's so... <laughs> what a night! <laughs> Fresh off the kill, and back for more, eh? Bane's still alive. Now that's not funny. <laughs> all this, all this rip. Is all this for you or for me? You must know that I'm a lost. <laughs> You just can't get it through your thick skull! Oh, we both exist because of them! Give up! You've lost! Isn't it? You like the way it feels. It's what you need! <laughs> Come on, baby. Beat me till your knuckles bleed. Why quit there? <laughs> you know there's only one way to stop me! <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. And how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least, that's what I used to think. <laughs> Stopped his heart. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats! <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun! Maybe, maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in.
tried so hard, my dear, to show that you're my every dream. Yet you're afraid each thing I do is just some evil scheme. <laughs> A memory from your lonesome past keeps us so far apart. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? Another crime before my time made your heart sad and blue. And so now you make me pay for things I didn't do. In anger, unkind words are said that make the teardrops start. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? You'll never know how much it hurts to never see you smile. You know you need and want to laugh <laughs> Yet you claim it's not your style. Why do you hide behind that mask? I'm trying to do my part. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? There was a time when I believed that you belonged to me. But now I know your heart is shackled to a memory. You won't admit that we're the same and it's tearing me apart! Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? <laughs> Our next guest, political strategist Dean Snyder, has been following tonight's events since the start, more than eight hours ago. Dr. Snyder, let's start with you. What's your view? Well, Jack, it's a travesty. The ultimate failing of the justice system. A vigilante cleaning up our streets after countless deaths and bombings? What has happened to our police force? And what about James Gordon? He didn't exactly prove himself tonight. Hold on a minute, Dean. Now, I'm no defender of the GCPD or Captain Gordon, for that matter. Like you said, tonight's debacle is some reflection of his efficacy, but I can't see any police force in any municipality doing a substantially better job against criminals like this Joker character or any of the hired killers he's brought into town. I mean, these guys are a different breed. We've never seen anything like this. So for me, it's less a reflection on Gotham's cops and more of a reflection on the state of our country. A country where our mental health and education systems are so warped and broken that we produce criminals of this nature. You raise an interesting point, Hank, but what I'm wondering is what we'll do next. No, it's not an interesting point. It's just plain wrong. They're both wrong. This isn't about the police or the Batman. It isn't about the state of our nation somehow churning out a dangerous new batch of the criminally deranged. It's about the failing of one single institution. An institution which, in my view, represents the biggest threat to Gotham and its citizens. A time bomb, just waiting to go off. If tonight's events have taught us anything, it's that Blackgate is not the place to be housing our city's most dangerous offenders. Not one, but two prison breaks in the same night. All of tonight's tragedies would have been avoided if Gotham had a proper treatment facility for its top echelon offenders. A place with impenetrable security, where the most dangerous could be isolated, rehabilitated, and treated for their illness. A place like Arkham Asylum. And after what happened tonight, I promise the good people of Gotham that I will work tirelessly. I will lobby the city council, go to the governor if I have to, do everything in my power to get Arkham Asylum reopened. So we can all sleep a little easier. There you have it. Quincy Sharp placing the blame for tonight's events not on the Batman, not on the Joker, but on Blackgate Prison, and pledging to return Arkham Asylum to full operations.
We'll be back with more from Mr. Sharp and our other guests when the Jack Ryder Hour continues after this message. <laughs> Figured you'd be by sooner or later. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me. It's been a long night, Alfred. Why don't you turn in? Wouldn't dream of it, Sam. Not until you're back safe and sound. Well, if you're sure you're up for it, I've got a few loose ends to tie up out here. And I could use your help. You can count on it. And when you get home, we can finally have that Christmas dinner I've been keeping warm for you. For our breakfast.